To catch all the latest episodes, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Hey guys, welcome to Hag, Hi Autistic Guy. This is going to be a before and after. Um, the before being now, before I smoke, and then you'll see how cannabis affects me in real time. The last few days, I've, uh, you know, I'm still getting used to this huge life change of being in LA. I've only been here for a month and a half now. But the more social experiences I have, Pretty much every day I have a new experience that blows me away that I'm very grateful for because I've always desired these social experiences that most people have occur on a day to day basis. And for me, these past six weeks, they've been happening for the first time in my life, just kind of the nuances of, of being in society. And that has been exhausting for me. And when I get tired, my symptoms really take advantage of that and sneak their way in. So my OCD, man, it's been kicking my ass. It's, it's been just abusive towards me, especially the past few days. My intrusive thoughts, uh, the, the intrusive thoughts that really cut deep. Those are back. Now, I haven't had those since probably the age of 12 when I was hospitalized for five weeks because of these intrusive thoughts that are so painful. They really, it's almost as if my mind knows my weak spots and sticks the knife right there. So I haven't really left my house in three days. And so I've kind of been not only stuck in my head, um, but I've been stuck in my head with these demons, these intrusive thoughts, mood swings, depression, severe anxiety. And you just wake up and it's like you're just like paralyzed in bed. And you're just like scared shitless just to live. It's been a, so, you know, all that, you know, is because I'm exhausted because of these experiences. Yet then when all those symptoms come in because of my exhaustion, it makes me even more depleted and exhausted. And so self-care during these times is just incredibly difficult because I don't have the energy to do anything. Like I just have to lay back and take all the abuse. So I'm trying to switch things up just a little bit and make little changes. But today I'm, you know, it's, uh, I'm kind of just empty, tired, dull. And I'm really confused, to be honest. I mean, there's so much going on in my head right now that I just kind of have to unplug from that part and not try to analyze or ruminate or figure things out, just kind of ride the wave, right? Um, so that's where I am now, and I haven't been in the gym in three, four days just because I've been so tired. But I have to go today. I know, uh, I know it's time to go. I mean, the last three days I've been flexible. I've been nice, trying to be nice to myself by, you know, saying, Russell, it's okay, you don't have to go to the gym. You're tired. But I know that, you know, I, I need to get some energy out. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to be trapped in here again all day with those demons. So I'll be back in five minutes. I'm going to go smoke, and you'll uh, be able to see the difference that cannabis has on me uh, very quickly, instantly almost. So see you in five. Five minutes later. So I just smoked the strain Harlequin, like the Marvel character. I think it's Marvel. Which is, uh, it's, has, it doesn't get you as high in the head. It's very low in THC, but it has CBD in it. So it's really good for um, anti-anxiety and pain relief. So that's what I went with today. Given the symptoms that I talked about before, I thought I should just, you know, go with Harlequin today. Usually I don't smoke that one. And again, that's why I love cannabis is because depending on 
the day I have, because really no two days are the same. You know, if my OCD is high one day or if it's panic the next day or depression another day, I can go into what I have in cannabis and look at which ones will fight which symptoms the best. So right now I just kind of feel more free. Again, I'm not that high at all. Um, just I feel lighter physically and mentally, but uh, physically just feel lighter. Uh, I think my depression was weighing me down a bit prior to smoking. Yeah, and I'm just going to have a calm mind. I, thinking gets me into, a, into trouble a lot. I really have to uh, be cognizant of when I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, how I'm thinking. And so right now, I don't have a lot of thoughts, which is good, which is good. Again, so if, back to what I was saying earlier, if I was going to try to write a poem today or get some work done on a presentation, I probably wouldn't smoke Carlifin just because it kind of calms my mind down and I can't really be creative. So again, that's why I love cannabis. It's not like you take the same thing every day, like regular medication, you switch it up depending on how you feel. It's very accommodating. Cannabis is more accommodating to me than uh, the vast majority of people I've encountered in this life. So I'm just going to end it there. I think this is short and sweet and gives you a good overall view of what cannabis can do to the mind and body. Thank you.